Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead of uh, November 18th to the 24th. So, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, we're just going to see what comes up for you. We're going to start right here. What do we got for Virgo? For the week ahead, 18th to the 24th. One card, please. Victory! Victory. Victory. Can't get any better than that now, can it? Victory. Somebody's about to have a victory. It's like getting the gold, right? I mean, what more can I say? I mean, the card speaks for itself. This is a victory. It is. It is. I mean, it's like this is a reward of some sort. This is a victory. So, I mean, I don't need to explain the card any further than that. So, it's a week of victory for you. These cards are really hard to shuffle. They gave me a bag, but I don't like that bag. i got to find another one. Okay, let's see. What do we got for Virgo? Virgo, please. <clears throat> Key. Successful outcome to your problems. Successful outcome. I didn't show you that, did I? Let's see if we can get it to focus. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a beautiful victory. Anyhow. Successful outcome to your problems. Tortoise. Slowly but surely getting ahead. Hand. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. <clears throat> so you're in need of help. And you're slowly going to get there. You're slowly getting there. And you're going to have success. So even though it may have seemed like it is a long road, <coughs> you're going to receive success. Somebody's going to give you a hand in some way. You may be shaking hands with somebody. This is the key that unlocks doors. So there may be a new door opening for you. Maybe you're getting a new set of keys. Whatever is happening, you are you are you are headed in the right direction. You are. Virgo. Whew. Seven of Swords right off the bat. We got somebody here keeps on looking back. Somebody's hiding something. And it's like they gotta go back and get the rest. You know, so they may have left something behind and they got to go get it. So somebody is hiding something and it's like, I got to go get the rest. This per person is probably thinking, should I just cut my losses and go or what should I do? I think this person is, is thinking how he's going to, he's going to get what's left. That's what I think. So this is, this is, uh, somebody who is scheming up a, a plan, waiting for the moment, waiting for the moment to swoop in and get what they left. Ooh, the sun card reversed. That's not happiness. Hmm. There you are. Reflecting on the whole situation. 
So you have come a long way. You have come a long, long way. Somebody has been in an unhappy situation where they aren't healthy. Could be with the place where they live. Could be at home. Somebody could be in an unhealthy home situation where there's some sort of deception. But this is enlightenment. This is seeing something clearly. It's like coming out of hiding, seeing it for what it is. So this is becoming consciously aware of something. Hmm. You are going to becoming, be becoming consciously aware of something if you are not already. Now this has to do with happiness and family. Somebody hasn't been in a healthy situation. They may have been deceived and lied. You may have been lied to by somebody. Could be a family member. Somebody may have told you that, you know, <laughs> it was going to be happily ever after and it was all a lie. You know, just saying. Now, somebody is thinking about leaving or thinking about staying. This is, uh, should I go or should I stay? And I think I said it with this card. So this is a lot of a lot of thinking here. Should I go or should I stay? What, sh what, what should I do? And I think that you may be thinking um, there's a level of confusion here. There is. Now this is enlightenment and this is lack of enlightenment. So that's interesting. There's an unexpected choice here. There's an unexpected opportunity for a connection. This is a card of love heals. This is a card of soulmates. Two people that are meant to come together. Uh, and this is like an unexpected opportunity. It just pops up. All of a sudden, there's this opportunity to come together with somebody that you probably feel a very deep, deep, deep connection with. You may have even lived with this person in the past. Maybe. But somebody is stuck. And this is hanging. Hanging on to something. Sacrificing. Stalling. Going through a spiritual, this you know, somebody's going through a major change, as some sort of awakening, and it's like they're resisting it. There's resistance to change here. And it's like you must see something from a new perspective, but you're having a hard time to breaking free from something that you are hanging on to. There could be some cheating going on. There's some lies or whatever. Maybe somebody is cheating with another lover. Just saying, if that's the this whoever that is for, this is cheating. This is a lover. I mean, I'm just saying that could certainly be happening because it is like, but they're still hanging on to somebody else because they don't have the balls to break free. But this is coming up with a plan and really, really thinking about leaving. Somebody is really, really, really thinking about their happiness. And they're not in a happy situation. It's like they know they have a deep connection with somebody else. There's another woman here. The Queen of Wands symbolizes another woman. This is the other woman. It's not the one. Okay, when the Queen of Wands comes up in a reading, it signifies another woman. And I'm sorry for all you Queen of Wands watching this. That That's a symbolism, okay, of the card. So so there could be another woman or even another man. It's like, there. I think there's a uh, potential third party situation here. And it's like somebody has to choose. There's a choice here. Do you want to stay in the unhappy situation and continue to deceive yourself? You want to keep hanging on to that? You want to keep being stuck there? Or do you want to find your confidence and your courage to break free from this situation? That's up to you. That's a choice. This is a card of choice. And this is a card of consequences. The lovers is a card of choice, consequences, seduction, and love heals. 
and soulmate connection. So we have like a soulmate connection with two people that are meant to be together, but there's a choice here. There's a choice between two options. Because when there's a choice, there's a choice. A choice is it? You know, there's a choice between two options here. You can choose to hang on to something that is causing you to, uh, is causing betrayal, you know, causing you to betray or whatever, or the other person to betray. Maybe you know there's cheating or you want to cheat, however it resonates with you, something like that. If you, you can, you can choose, it doesn't have to be cheating whatever there's lies here it's you can hang on to the to the lies or you can choose to go after happiness that's your choice now there's consequences there's consequences you can you could miss a golden opportunity if you don't take action so anyway i think that you are going to have an opportunity to uh choose <laughs> to choose to stay in your false foundation your false sense of security or leave what's it gonna be Virgo what's it gonna be right I mean that's your false sense of security somebody is avoiding you know disruption staying in their safety zone and it's like you know you know, you're highly aware. You are. You are highly aware. You are highly awakened. You know what you got to do. You probably, you know, you probably, ha somebody is looking for more passion. And it's like they're not getting it at home. And so they're probably getting it someplace else. Just saying. This is a false sense of security. And it's like there's a soulmate connection here waiting. It's just it's just like, do you see me? So anyway, I feel as though you have to find your courage. You have to find your confidence. Just like this other woman. She's proud. She's exciting. She takes action. Action. She has a lot of fun. She is. She has a lot of fun. Because she's very optimistic. She's not afraid. She doesn't have any fear. So I think that you are going to have to find your strength and your confidence and your courage to go down that long road that you have been avoiding. Long road. Avoiding. You guys have been avoiding change. Sitting around thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. <coughs> Excuse me. This week, you are going to be presented with a choice that could bring you passion, excitement, and a new beginning. This might just be your match. You may have met your match. You may be reuniting with your match. This is, just go for it. This is an exciting opportunity for passion. This could be a new sexual partner coming into your life. Or a new partner anyway. This is an exciting new avenue opening up. But this is action. Take action. So I think, Virgo, you are going to be presented with a sudden choice to stay or go. To leave a false sense of security. And it's like all in the name of passion. If you can find your courage and your confidence and your strength, to break free from whatever it is that you're hanging on to. You will find victory. This will be your pot of gold. But if you don't have the courage 
to go get it, somebody else is going to. Good luck.